Hello and welcome! The unprecedented solar boom we are currently experiencing has led us to create this video to give you a brief overview of photovoltaic power plants. Are they worthwhile in our conditions? How long will it take to recoup the investment? And what about solar panels over the winter? We will try to answer all these questions in this video. First of all, most of you probably know what a watt peak is, but let's recap. Watt peak determines the power output of a solar panel and for simplicity, the stated power output of a panel can be expressed in watts under ideal conditions. In practice, this means that 330 watt peaks is equal to 330 watts. However, several factors affect panel performance, some of which can be influenced by the owner and some are determined by geography or weather. Let's start with the illumination. All the numbers you will read in the panel's instruction manual are recorded based on measurements in laboratory conditions. This means that at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and a solar radiation of 1000 watts per meter square. Standard illuminance in Central Europe is around 8 to 900 watts per meter square. The low illuminance is the performance of the module decreases, but the illuminance is also related to the average duration of the daylight. For example, Oslo gets around 1668 hours of sunlight annually, but in Naples, for example, it is already 2411 hours per year. Another equally important factor to consider is the temperature, as the efficiency of a PV panel decreases with increasing temperature. In real installation conditions, especially in summer, panels reach temperature of 50 to 80 degrees Celsius. If the panels are then installed low above the roof covering and there is insufficient air circulation and cooling of the panels, their efficiency at 50 degrees Celsius can be up to 15% lower than their nominal value, which has traditionally been a particular struggle for southern states. Paradoxically, on the other hand, when it is cold and the light shines on the panel, we may see higher panel voltage and power than its nominal value. Therefore, it is important to take this possibility into account when designing the system and to size the system in such a way that it does not damage, for example, the impedity controller. The sun's rays are at their most intense in summer at midday. Logically, photovoltaic panels should then be installed horizontally, right? No, far from it, actually. The roughly 30 degree slope and the southern orientation that you often see are no coincidence. Their purpose is to spread out the production of electricity throughout the day and year so that you use the maximum amount of energy without surpluses. A 30 degree tilt in the summer helps to produce more power in the morning and towards the evening plus it allows the panels to produce a decent amount of electricity during the winter. To sum it up, during the winter months, the photovoltaic panels operate at about 20% of their capacity, which is neither great nor terrible, and taking all the sunny days of the year together, we, as Central Europe, fall into an area where running photovoltaics is still worthy to afford. That's all for today. If you liked the video or found it useful, we would of course appreciate a like, share or subscription. Thanks for your support and we look forward to the next time!